What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Storm Absolute. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this festive AF jersey, make sure to go to coolwick.com and use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there should be a link where you can order an Absolute or anything bowling related. That is the absolute, absolute. That is the best way to help support the channel and I would really appreciate it. So this is the newest asymmetrical hybrid from Storm and it features a brand new cover stock, which we're gonna get into right now. So let's get into some of the tech with the Absolute. I got it here pulled up on Storm's website. So the Absolute features the Sentinel core, which in 15 pounds is an RG of 2.48, which is on the low side, but that is what we expect out of the big asymmetrical cores. A max differential of 0 0.050, which is again on par with what we're expecting out of a ball this strong. And the PSA being 0.021 is on the high side, so it has a high asymmetry. And then wrapped around that is the R2S deep hybrid cover stock that comes out of box at that reactor gloss finish. Now, according to Storm's website, the R2S deep is a cleaner through the front compared to the flagship R2S formula. This yields a more aggressive shape to the pocket with more overall angle through the pins. So what I'm expecting out of this Absolute is a motion that's gonna be very clean through the fronts and it's gonna produce a substantial amount of shape, especially for a big asymmetric core. And then I do have two Absolutes here, so I went with two different layouts. I'm trying to experiment with a little bit longer pin to paps with some five inch pins. So one of them, I did go with a longer pin to pap. I went with my normal 60 by four and a half by 30 on one of them. And then with the other one, I went 30 by five by 30. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are excited for this absolute. In the videos that I've seen of people throwing this ball, it does look really good, so I have really high hopes. We're gonna be here at Samstown on lane one on a fresh typical house shot. I do wanna give a shout out to Dropo for supplying me with this thumb. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. We'll see you guys here on the lanes. All right, first shot of the video here, we're gonna start in the four and a half inch pin absolute. And then when I go to the five, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Yeah, it's a really good first shot. So we're just gonna go right back to that same spot. Curious to see what the difference is gonna be between the two layouts. Got it in a little. It didn't overhook, so that's a good thing. All right, one more shot here with the four and a half inch pin one, and then we'll transition over to the five inch pin. So this is gonna be the first shot here with a five inch pin uh, absolute. I'm gonna go right to that same spot first. And then if I have to move right or left, I will. I'm expecting a cleaner motion with more pop down lane here. Yeah, that's really big difference. Yeah, the difference in layout there was pretty huge. Let's go back to that same spot, see if we can't repeat that shot. I missed in. Push. No, way too much pop down lane. All right, that was a pretty terrible shot. So let's go back to that same spot and actually make a good one here. Again, still in the five inch pin one. Choo! All right, back to the five inch pin one. I'm gonna start chasing it left just to, uh, just to see. It's like a two board move here. Man, I like this, uh, I like this absolute. All right, so I think so far I'm preferring this four and a half inch pin one, but I think that might change as we start to chase it in. And then one more here with the four and a half before we get to the same spot with the five. All right, same spot here, but with the five inch pin. Oh, stuck there, push. I can't miss in with the five inch one at all. Yeah, I just really gotta focus and get this ball right, because if I miss in, it, it just hooks way too much. So again, let's get this one going right here. All 
All right, last shot here before our first break. I really like this one as long as I can get it going to the right. All right, so we're just coming off the lanes, throwing the absolute for the first time. Six shots each with the four and a half inch pin one, six shots each with the five inch pin absolute. And on the fresh, it's kind of like what you would expect. The four and a half inch pin one looks a little bit better. It's a little bit earlier, a little bit more control. Um, the five inch pin one is definitely making me have less room for error. If I miss left, it's really gonna take off. I really gotta get it going right into the friction. And I think that that last shot there where I wrapped the 10 is like the most telling shot. But I think that as this video develops, that five inch pin one is gonna start to look a little bit better. Now, I haven't thrown a bowling ball with a five inch pin in a very long time. So this is still very much experimental. And I think so far, I still prefer that 60 by four and a half by 30 layout so far. So we're gonna get back on the lanes and just continue to chase it left because I think both of these are already enough for me to chase left. And so far, I like what I'm seeing. Let's get back on the lanes. All right, back into the four and a half inch pin absolute. And again, you're gonna make a like three or four board move left here. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go back to that same spot, but move my eyes right a little bit. And if that doesn't look good, I'll just move left and keep it in the oil. I threw that so bad. All right, that was the first really bad shot I've thrown with the four and a half inch pin one. So same spot, just throw a better shot here. That's a good one. All right, so this is the five inch pin one, and this is gonna be from that further left spot coming off that rat 10. This should look pretty good here. That should be really good. Oh, roll the four. All right, I'm gonna move one left off that roll four with the five inch pin here, absolute. Oh my God, what hit that 10 pin? All right, so I'm actually gonna move back right a little bit with my feet with the five inch pin and my eyes left. Just kind of shallow up these angles. That's gonna be good. Mm. All right, back into that four and a half inch pin one. And then again, guys, just I'm really liking the four and a half one over the five inch one. Right, that wasn't my best shot, but it still struck. Let's make a better one, see if we can't get a better shot here. Huh? All right, well, let's try that again and not almost die. That's, <laughs> oh my God. All right, and then one more shot here with a four and a half inch pin one. All right, back in the five inch pin one for one more group of shots. I'm gonna get left and see if I can slow hook it to the right. And if not, we'll move back right with it. All right, well, fantastic four. We're gonna move three left and move our eyes one right. Open up these angles here. All right, let's move a little right off that shot, see if we can't strike with this one. And I think the next group of shots, we're just gonna move right with this ball. All right, so now the second group of shots are done, 12 shots each with the four and a half and the five inch pin, absolute. And still, I just much, much more prefer that four and a half inch pin one. So guys, do me a favor. I'm gonna get back on the lanes now and I'm gonna drop the camera angle and like change it up a little bit. If you guys like this angle and you would like for me to add it to all my videos going forward, please let me know in the comments if you like it and if you don't like it, why or why not. 
So let's get back on the lanes. I'm gonna stay left with the four and a half inch pin one and with the five inch pin one, I'm gonna play a little bit straighter, closer to the friction and see if that can help me get it to go through the pins. All right, so this is the four and a half inch pin absolute. Let me know what you guys think about this camera angle here. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about this stronger drill absolute. All right, one more here with the four and a half and then we'll get back into the five from a little bit straighter. Oh, that's the first 10 pin with that one. All right, back into the five inch pin one. And this is about where I started at the beginning of the video. Just trying to see if now that there's a little carry down, it looks good from straight. Can't kick out the 10 pin with that. <laughs> All right, so off that wrap 10, we're gonna move two and one left. Create a little bit more angle here and see if this looks better. Wow. All right, we'll go another two left off that shot. There's one. All right, back into the four and a half inch pin one, and I'm just, I'm preferring this one 10 times over the five inch pin one. Yeah, I think I'm just a little bit too far left here. So let's shallow up our angles and throw a good strike here. All right, so that's a lot of 10 pins. This is looking like it's more gonna be a fresh ball than in the transition. So we're gonna move everything left, keep it in the oil, see how this looks here. That's okay. All right, so this is the five inch pin one. We're gonna do the same thing and see how that looks. Just move everything in, keep it in the oil. Oh, <laughs> let's move right off that, but same similar idea here. Give me that. All right, last shot of the video here, reviewing the all new Absolute. Go to the desk for our final analysis here. Push. All right, so now we're all done reviewing the all new Storm Absolute. This is a very strong, asymmetrical, shiny hybrid. And at the end there, there was a lot of 10 pins. And I think that's just because the ball's very, very strong. I needed something. I think if I was bowling for score, I would need something that's a little bit cleaner through the fronts. That's a little bit more responsive down lane. So I think if I was bowling for score there at the end, I would have transitioned into something like the Fate. Now, as of the time of right now, I have not thrown the Revenant at all. So I don't know if that would be the one or not. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I had a blast throwing the all new Storm Absolute. I think it's gonna be a ball that it's gonna be a go-to on the fresh. When I need a little bit, something a little bit cleaner through the fronts that's more responsive down lane on the fresh. Like I said, on the burn, it's a little too squirrely for me to really like it. So click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.